continue this, bring in Florida Congressman Byron Donalds, our good friend. Byron, you got a quick thought on this uh, Hunter Biden business? Well, my quick thought is, is that obviously the evidence was overwhelming. Uh, like you and Andy both said, the judge played it straight and the jury came back with the only rational thing you could come back with. The bigger issue is the fact that the Biden family has been taking advantage of Joe Biden's position for decades in our government. They made millions and millions of dollars overseas. And this tax evasion case, where, by the way, some of the more serious tax evasion crimes have actually expired because David Weiss allowed them to expire, mm -hmm. Hunter Biden is now going to have to answer for that in California. Mm -hmm. And I think that case is the one that's incredibly damning because it demonstrates the scope upon which Joe Biden leveraged his office to enrich his family, and we believe he enriched himself as well. Yeah, it's going to be hard to shut all that down. Byron, I want to switch topics um, and talk about uh, my pal Bill McGurn's column today and all these lefties are beating up on you. There is no doubt, at least in my mind, sir, that empirical evidence shows with clarity that the LBJ Great Society and the subsequent massive expansion of the welfare state, which has continued through Obama and Joe Biden, has harmed the black family and the white family. I mean, he goes through, this is a one of, Thomas Sowell has written about this, the great Thomas Sowell, uh, Jason Riley of the Wall Street Journal, uh, other folks have talked about it, Brad Wilcox, Charles Murray. Now, I know you said this uh, in a Philadelphia meeting and then they all start beating up on you. How can anybody deny that what you said was correct? Well, Larry, thank you for asking about that. It's interesting that all of the people who uh, have issues with what I said in Philadelphia, they never talked about the substance. They talked about their feelings associated uh, with one of the great tragedies in American history, which is Jim Crow. I think also a lot of the critics, they don't want to acknowledge that Jim Crow was a was a was an era ushered in by Democrat politicians in the South who still wanted to uh, segregate and subjugate black people in this country. And they also don't want to acknowledge that it's Lyndon Johnson's Great Society, also heavy Democrat policy, that actually led to fathers not being in homes. You have federal agencies, state agencies that would actually come and examine the apartment to make sure there wasn't a father figure in the home in order for welfare checks to go out. And then, of course, you have the 94 crime bill ushered in by Joe Biden, which is also destructive of families. And so if you take the track record of that era, Democrat policy, whether it was segregation policy under Jim Crow, welfare fair policy under Lyndon Johnson. It has been destructive of black, fa black families. I don't, I think my critics don't want to acknowledge that empirical reality. And then when you look at the policies that have worked for the black community and frankly for all of America have been pro-growth pro economic policies and education freedom policies, which empower parents and give students and gives young black minorities and young black people, young, young people everywhere an opportunity to excel and achieve and get academic attainment so they can become economically viable in America. You know, Byron, just a couple quick thoughts. I mean, you're, Jim Crow was in the Democratic Party for 100 years. I mean, let's be serious about that. Uh, up until recently, unfortunately. In fact, there was a Democratic Senate majority leader who was a former member of the KKK not so long ago. So uh, people should quit uh, harping on you for that. But the other point I want to make more generically, broadly, if you will, Charles Murray, I don't know if you ever read Charles Murray, very smart guy, sociologist, demographer. He did so much work, the so-called bell-shaped curve and other books, that the incidents, the growth and the expansion of the welfare state did more harm to marriage and working folks in white and black families. Charles didn't have a racial filter. I mean, he did have a racial filter, but his overall point was it affected all working class families, all middle class families, and it affected them in a very negative way. And Democrats do not want to look in the mirror and face up to the harm that, uh, shall we say, big government socialism is wreaking on the uh, working folks uh, of this country. 
No, Charles Murray is correct. Um, it has it had major impacts with all populations, especially, you know, people who are at the bottom of the economic ladder. If you're working poor, if you're struggling poor, if you need help. And so I think that's the real lesson to learn from all this is that what we have to find in America is the is the uh, the policy set that allows families to be united and be in homes. We're seeing that right now with the pro growth policies of Ronald Reagan, um, of Donald Trump, where families are starting to become more united. You also need academic attainment for kids who are coming up, who are who are on the bottom end of the socioeconomic ladder. My mother gave me that ability to get my educational standards higher so I could become viable when it comes to getting a job, building wealth, etc. That's the policy regimen that's going to work. I think when you're talking about the welfare states, yes, there are people who need help. There was a time in my life, Larry, I needed help. Mm. My mother needed help. But it shouldn't be to the detriment and destruction of families. And that's the thing that has occurred. That's what we got to rectify so everybody can do better going forward in America. Uh, last one, Byron. And by the way, thank you for all these explanations. Very important. Very important. I'm not going to let these lefties rule the day. Uh, President Trump gives you a call. Vice President Byron Donalds has a nice ring to it. Would you accept? Larry, I've been dodging your question for months. Uh, but I said early on, I said early on, listen, if, the, if that's what the president wants to do, uh, I'm, all, I'm, I'm all for it. I'm on board. It's really about winning. But he's going to make a decision. It's going to come pretty soon. And I'm going to support whatever decision he makes. Listen, this is a great country. We have overcome so much in America. We truly have. But now we need true leadership in the White House. We need the economic policies and the other public policies to give Americans all the different abilities to be successful and we have got to end these wars overseas we got to get away from this these these crazy policies of endless wars Donald Trump kept this country safe he needs to be the 47th president of the United States Congressman Byron Donalds the great state of Florida thank you sir we appreciate it as always take care thank you